Good evening and welcome back to my shed retory. I haven't been here uh, much. I've been busy on a course um, in Chesterfield. It's really miserable and I didn't really want to do much welding today. I have done a few little bits, but I've mostly been playing with the Honda and over. I've had a problem um, in the winter when the lights run off the Staten, and even though it's quite a new bike, that's quite a rare occurrence. Normally all the headlights on motorcycles are DC now, so they run straight off the battery, which means that they're on all the time and they're just bright, and that's it. What happens when you've got them running off the Staten on AC is when the engine is going slowly, the lights are dimmer. On a bike like this with a tiny, teeny battery, what happens is this. You fly down a country lane and close the throttle because it's dark and wet and miserable and you need to slow down. What happens then is the lights go dim and then you can't see. So you're on a motorcycle going towards a corner trying to slow down in the dark with very very little lighting and it's becoming annoying. It is annoying especially when I'm batting around it in the summer and it's dark at night and I want to go quickly around corners not slowly. So what I've decided to do is put on some LED spotlights on a rack that I made, which I didn't video unfortunately, which I'm kind of proud of. Um, I originally tried to do it by tagging a relay from the main beam circuit of the Innova, because obviously they're LED, I should have said that before. You can't run LEDs on AC because of the waveform and it goes through zero and then they flicker like a mad thing because they only work on the positive, you can only go one way, so not like a normal bulb unfortunately. There's some science but I'm not doing it cold and drizzly. So yeah, uh, I did try and put a relay, so I put the main beam on, the Innova lights, the relay would energise and the the feed from the battery would go to the LED head spotlights and they would be bright and stay bright and uh, that would be cool. But what happened was when I tried it, the relay just clicked like a mad thing because of the AC voltage of the headlights. So I will slowly explain what I've done. I didn't want um, all of the lights to be on all the time, so I've had to sort of work around all that. But bear with me two seconds, and I'll show you what I've done. So, there you go, I've got the uh, Nova in bits. These are the, these are the, this is the rack that I made, look. Teeny, tiny, teeny rack. Um, it's kind of solid, I've put a massive weight on it, and it's really strong, I'm quite proud of it. Um, and these are the spotlights that I want to use. I've tried them with a really old battery, and they're super bright and cool. So I pulled all the bike apart, and what I have now is, give me two seconds, move that out of the way, flick that off there, and that is in here where the battery lives, I have a, or will have, an earth there, and a positive there, and they go through the tray to here, and one of these, only the positive now, will feed up through... Do, 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 do. They will positively, they will feed this relay here, which is running there off the ignition switch. So when the ignition switch is live, the relay goes active and the power from that positive cable will come up here, through here, and feed these two spotlights. Or rather, not those two spotlights, my apologies. Feed a spotlight which is now sitting around somewhere else. Bear me a sec. Do, 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 do. Here. Uh, this is an actual spotlight or fog light. It's quite directional, so I'm going to point this at the ground. I haven't mounted this yet. That will go here somewhere, um, pointing down. So what will happen is... Put that down there out of the way. What will happen is this. You can turn the ignition switch on. Here. And the lights will work normally. The Anova light there with the side light bulb and the normal on the dip and main beam. Um, and that'll be fine. What I've done is fitted a switch down here in this panel, which is actually the same as this switch there. It's actually off a Chinese scooter. Uh, and I will have that position there as factory, and that position there will be Mel's new lights. So I've got sort of two whole sets of lights. So you'll ride along and decide that it's dark and you want your normal LED lights on. The earth path for all of the headlights here now goes from here down this cable to this switch here and back again. One side of it goes up to the headlights and the other side of the switch goes up to these ones here. So I will have a button in here or a 
in a switch in there to turn between dip beam LED and main beam bright LED in which when the switch is in this position the tail light functions as normal which run off AC through the relay off the battery so they don't flicker and they work fine and for MOT testing type purposes put the switch in that position there and the normal factory Honda lights will work as per so there you go that's where I'm at so far I shall show, let you know if it's successful but that's why I haven't been doing any beetle stuff today and it is super super grim outside I did do some beetle things actually but not not as much as I should have done what I've done is painted um, yes it's silver I mean, it wasn't intentionally supposed to be silver but I haven't got any black hammerite I had silver hammerite uh, it's only literally a sort of precautionary covering because once everything's back on I'm going to drill some tiny holes that I can put bungs in uh, and clatter the whole thing full of wax oil and whatever else I decide to put in there to protect it but it's all it's all very solid now I, don't, I, wasn't, I was going to repair this tiny little hole here but it doesn't really serve any purpose there's no structural it's not a structural piece I don't think so I'm going to leave that as it is um, but the rest of it's pretty solid now so I shall crack on with that once I've done this I've finished the lights, I've got a tidy the wiring up down there, so I've got my main beam, main main beam, full beam, that's my side light bulb, or panel, and this is not finished yet, and a bit banky looking, but that is my, what will be my sort of dip E-beam, it's not really a dip beam, because it's more of a spot, but it will suffice. So let's now do a quick test of Honda lighting versus Melv. 20 pound budget light. So what we're looking at here is this is Honda at basically at idle. As you can see, you, know, you rev it a little bit and you do get a little bit of light, but that's a, that's Honda at idle. That's Honda's idea of a main beam at idle. So imagine I'm banging down a country lane and I have to close the throttle. Not a great thing. So I'll just look, flip my switch. This is, that's, wait a second, there's the switch gone. That is now, that's my, that is, believe it or not, that is my side light. That's my side light at idle. Cheeky, cheeky number. This is my dip beam. The, 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 the beam is slightly off. I can just, uh, I can just that down slightly. But that's my, that's my dip beam at idle. And that's my main beam at idle. So not much difference there, Honda. Uh, not much at all. So that's. Malv main beam, Honda dip beam, Malv main beam, Honda dip beam, Malv main beam, Honda dip beam, main beam. So yeah, there you go. I uh, successfully uh, upgraded the lights, and that's cock.